Hello everybody, today we will be installing a Megan Racing short throw shifter kit into our Mark IV New Beetle. One of the biggest complaints people have uh, with the Mark IVs is the feel of the manual transmission and quite honestly it doesn't feel the best, uh, but today we will be hopefully remedying that. This kit that we picked up is the Megan Racing short throw shifter kit and uh, we will also be using the Euro tuning uh, shifter rebuild bearing bushing thing kit. Uh, there'll be a link to that in the description as well, uh, but without any further ado, let's get to work. A super common issue on these Mark IV Volkswagens is a lot of people complain about the how long the throws on uh, this 5-speed is, and it just doesn't feel good. A lot of people say the only thing that Volkswagen got wrong about their uh, manual transmission Mark IVs is the feel of the shifter and i couldn't agree with that more this fit shifter feels very vague it feels rubbery it just feels gross so that's why we're going to replace that your first step for this is going to be ultimately unbolting the shifter box assembly uh, from the top of the car before we go under it uh, but first step for that is going to be removing this large trim piece uh, undoing the shift boot and then just kind of getting all this stuff out of the way. Um, so we're actually going to be replacing the shift boot um, when we do this. So I'm not too worried about that getting damaged, um, but this little clip right here needs to come off. Um, this is one of Volkswagen's special one-time use Satan clamps, as I like to call them. Um, they use them all over the place on these cars, everything from hoses in the engine bay to the uh, shift knob, shift boot cover holder thing. Uh, there's no real good way to get these off without having Volkswagen's special tool that I'm sure costs upwards of $300. Uh, so you can just kind of grab onto it, wiggle it, you know, kind of loosen. See, it's a little bit looser now, um, but we need to actually get that piece off. Um, so I'm just going to twist it until it probably snaps or I give up. All right. So with the clip off, this whole thing comes off and it's very gross. Uh, we're going to be replacing this boot and of course the shift knob. Um, this is definitely a little bit worn in. Uh, the rest of this junk should just come off now. I'm not too worried about breaking things because it'll all be replaced. So now you can kind of get an idea as to why this felt so garbage. One of the rubber boots kind of degraded and the fulcrum ball here is covered in this really lovely rubbery powder, which is really cool. Um, see, there's the mechanism for uh, reverse lockout. Um, but yeah, that bolt right, th those two bolts right there, those are the ones that need to come out up here. And then we'll be done in the cab of the car for right now. So both of those nuts are out, so we're done in the cab of the car for right now. So now we can move on to working under the car. So we're up under the car now. You can see I removed a section of exhaust. Luckily this car has an aftermarket exhaust on it so I could just unbolt it. Uh, but our goal under here is going to be removing this heat shielding here in the transmission tunnel, or rather exhaust tunnel on this because it's front wheel drive. Um, but our little shift box is located right up here. Sorry for the crummy angles, it's pretty cramped under here. Uh, but there are, all over this thing, these little tabs. Like this one right here. So we're gonna pop all those off and then this heat shield thing should just drop. So I have the heat shield taken out now. Um, you can see right here. Oh, sorry, I'm bumping everything. This is the shifter box assembly thing. I don't know what the technical term for it is, uh, but you can see those two bolts right there and there. Uh, those are what we're going to remove now. And this whole assembly will drop down and then we'll be able to disconnect the cables and reinstall our new stuff into it. So this is the shifter assembly dropped. Uh, you can see daylight up through the car, uh, but yeah. Next up is going to be disconnecting the two 
uh, cables that connect to the box. So I have this plate taken off now. It's just got a bunch of little tabs on it. I bent out of the way with a pair of pliers. Oh, it's covered in grease. Um, but now I'm going to remove the cables. Uh, I believe these just come out by you unclipping them uh, down here at the uh, to each cable where it connects to the shifter assembly and then you unclip them there and then they slide out. With the shifter cables disconnected and all the spots, this now comes out. You can see just how grimy that is. All right, so now that we have the shifter box turret assembly out of the car, not once again, not sure what you call this, uh, we're going to start putting on the Megan Racing short throw shifter kit and the Euro tuning uh, bushing shifter rebuild kit. Um, so first step, I'm going to remove this little plate right here. Can't see much of a reason why that bolt would be that long, but whatever. <laughs> We'll remove this piece. This will not be reused. Uh, so now what am I working with? Uh, next up, I'm going to remove uh, this bolt right here and this little clip. This clip we have a replacement for in the kit. All right, we got that bolt out now. Go ahead and remove this. Now, this will come off. Maybe. And remove that spring. We have a replacement spring and one of these little rubber things. This thing is disgusting. Now, this will come up. Kind of have to wiggle this. Kind of, it's kind of like a little puzzle trying to get that out. So that one's out. Uh, this little rubber bearing thing for the uh, fulcrum ball, uh, that is getting replaced. So now that everything is removed uh, off of this assembly that we can, we could take out this little thing in the bushing, but we don't need to worry about that. Uh, actually, we are, oop, we are going to replace that bushing. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna clean this up and then we'll get back to installing everything on it. So now we're going to start uh, assembling everything onto it. I'm going to start out uh, with the little shifter ball. Um, so go ahead and clip it on the new one. Let's put our new piece in. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and slide this piece on through. Slide this end on. Slide this rubber piece on. That is what was m giving us most of our issues before. Go ahead and get our new spring on. This is a little bit of a puzzle again, trying to get everything lined up. Go ahead and put this screw in. So you can kind of get a sense of how that works. With this bushing, make sure there's two little lines on it. Uh, make sure those are facing up or it won't want to go in. I learned that the hard way. Clip is on. See, that's already feeling a lot better. Now we're going to install the reverse lockout. It's it's actually optional uh, to use the reverse lockout for this. Uh, I personally like the idea of having a reverse lockout, so we are going to be using that. Just get this bolted nice and tight. The little plate for the reverse lockout. All right, so next up, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slide uh, the little reverse lockout collar on to the uh, shaft, and then we're gonna take this sick little roll pin, uh, and then this goes through one hole in the collar, and then there's a hole 
in the actual rod. Um, so we'll go ahead and slide that on. You want this little notch to be on the side that this bar's on. All right, so the roll pin is now in. You can see that it keeps the reverse lock out. Can't go over in the reverse, you lift this up and now you can. So that's how that functions. Functions just as it should. We'll go ahead to and install our spring. And because we are going to be using a different shift knob than what came with the Megan Racing Short Throw Shifter Kit, uh, we're going to be using this nice aluminum one. Uh, the issue with that is the bottom of it doesn't have a spot for the spring really. So what I did was I 3D printed uh, this little collar so that it's an adapter for a pull-up style reverse lockout uh, shift kit. So for like your Subarus, your Subarus come stock with those, some of them. Uh, and then if you're planning on running this kit for your Mark IV, uh, this is a nice little adapter that if you're interested in it, you could go ahead and contact me over on Instagram, at NonRS, and I can make you one of these. I'm not trying to make a living off of making these, I'm just trying to get some cool parts out there for people that need them. But we'll go ahead and screw that on. Uh, I could put it, whatever thread pitch on it that you want. Um, this one, I believe, is M12 by 1.25. But the idea of this piece is um, that it covers up just to the top and you can still use your lockout. Go ahead and install our new shift knob onto it just to get an idea how this crazy contraption is going to look. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Reverse lockout still works and we're using an aftermarket shift knob that isn't the Megan Racing one. Next step is just going to be reinstalling this into the car. So we got the short throw shifter kit in with the shift knob, the reverse lockouts all installed, and it feels really nice. The shifts are really crisp. Uh, I don't know if that's the uh, Euro tuning bushing kit to thank or the new short throw kit. Um, only thing now, I'm gonna have to get used to uh, pushing down or not pushing down on this, but actually pulling up on the collar to get it into reverse. Um, we didn't actually think that this shift knob was going to work with this application because of uh, center console here, but you can see I got a good three, three and a half inches of play right here. Uh, only thing is if you're really, really slamming through the gears, you might punch your hazards light. Uh, but the only thing now left to do is going to be to reinstall the center console with our new shift boot and we should be good. And there you go. You can see that the uh, short throw shifter kit is fully installed. It's got the boot, it's got the center console trim in. Um, this is an aftermarket, um, like, bride material. It looks pretty good. Matches this uh, grayish beige uh, plastic trim piece pretty good. Um, reverse lockout works. A um, little bit awkward with this shift knob um, with the reverse lockout. Normally I like a nice ball-shaped um, shift knob so you could really get over it to pull up the reverse lockout. So you ha kind of have to go from it from the side. So we might be replacing that, but um, this just has a regular... Uh, M12 by 1.25 thread now. Um, you can see the 3D printed piece that I uh, designed and printed. Uh, works flawlessly with it. Reverse lockout works. Um, everything works. Everything feels amazing. The car drives great now. And the install is complete. But yeah, this video is a lot of fun to make. Uh, it's not always about those engine swaps or those big turbos that really make the car that much enjoyable. It's just these small driver mods that really change the feel of the car and I hope that this video has given you the confidence to work on your own car and mod your own car. I've gotten a lot of comments uh, on some of my videos saying that my video had helped them work on their car and honestly that makes me really happy because that's why I make these videos. Something worth mentioning is Maneki Performance uh, merch is now available. Link to that down in the description. All of the proceeds generated by shirt and hoodie sales will be going right back into the channel for me to make videos for you all. But yeah, that's just a little shameless plug on my end. Uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And if you're a first time viewer, be sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time.